important day today. We're starting uh, in December. We're going to be baptizing people, people going public with their faith. And sitting here with a buddy of mine, his name is Chavis. And uh, God has just done a really cool thing in Chavis' life. And, and we've been talking about it. And Chavis has said that he'd be willing to share his story. And after this, he's going to go public with his faith in baptism. Alcohol took me to, uh, I guess, a, another low point in my life, and I just, I really lost everything. Uh, I don't mean to jump around. A lot of my using and uh, my using and drinking was just a big blur. It's hard uh, uh, for me to kind of like make a timeline of how everything happened in sections because I was just, <laughs> I was just really all over the place. But uh, I was just at a point in my life where I just didn't have nothing, man. Broken hearted, I, I, self esteem shot, uh, everything. I just, my family didn't really, uh, I don't blame it on them. I take full responsibility for my actions. My uh, family didn't want me around. Uh, family and friends didn't really want me around because I, I, I look at it now and I, I don't get mad because it's the way I live. How did, uh, how did you end up making the connection with Jesus? I mean, how did that happen for you? Uh, Jesus has brought me out of uh, addiction. November 23rd was uh, seven months of sobriety for me. Uh, for many of years, I've struggled with uh, uh, the use of alcohol and uh, prescription medication. And I'm just at a point in my life now where uh, I've gave it all up that uh, the only way for me to be happy is to uh, live right and uh, serve God and live by His commandments. And it's, it's what I'm going to do and uh, it's what I need to do. Um, so it'd be interesting to hear you talk a little bit about the role that the church has played in your life, in, in particular Church 180. How has the church been a part of um, your spiritual evolution? Uh, I happened to be at a place one day and I, uh, I ran into Miss Barbara that attends this church. Bar Barbara Higginbotham? Yeah. Right. I ran into her and uh, she seen me and uh, she came over there and spoke to me and I, I spoke with her and uh, we just got to talk and I can't remember what was said and what went on but she told me to... Uh, she. Uh, invited me to come to uh, church C-180, and uh, I told her I would be there. And uh, the next day, uh, I was uh, over on Dave Lyle. Uh, I, I was staying on Dave Lyle, and I walked all the way from Dave Lyle all the way <laughs> to here to church. Were you on time? Huh? Were yeah. You? I was actually, I was uh, like 20 minutes early. <laughs> I, I, walked, awesome. I went over there to Burger King, and I had to sit for a little while to actually church open. Here's, here's the truth. Like, nobody comes to God, uh, typically no one comes to God without the help of someone else. Usually there's someone or, or someones who've played a really important part in your life as you've come to God and as you've grown to know Him better. And um, my guess is that some, there are some of those people that are sitting in our church today. So why don't you look at the camera, call them by name, and uh, just express your appreciation and then we're going to baptize you. Uh, I'd, uh, I'd like to give a, a real big thanks to Miss Wendy and Chaz, uh, Virgil and Marilyn. Jack, uh, Miss Barbara, Kim, uh, Pastor Paul, Sherry, and his family, and I'd like to give a special thanks to uh, Mr. Dick Snyder, Miss Janet, and Ken for uh, all uh, uh, caring for me and not giving up on me when I, uh, a lot of other people did. I thank you so much. All right, man. Ready to get baptized? Oh, yeah. Let's do it.